I'm not that concerned. Um, I know we just got got our butts kicked, but uh, we're just in a rough patch in our season. Um, it happens to every team uh, every year, pretty much, um, with very few exceptions. And we're in a little bit of a rut. So when we played a team that was ready and you know played uh, played a great, great first half, and uh, so we're a little out of sorts, and we just gotta gotta get back on track, and we will. What's kind of the key to getting back on track? Do you think? Right? Well, uh, it starts with defense. You know, we gave up 78 in the first half, whatever it was. Um, it's impossible to to win a game, um, you know, and and to get an offensive rhythm if you're taking the ball out of the net every play. So, um, second half was a much better effort. Um, you know, I know the game was already out of hand, but um, the, the, our response was was great in the second half the guys kept playing i think you know three minutes left down 20 and i'm looking at uh, chioza and juan and Dee Lee, and they're diving all over the floor and jk pushing the ball and 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 you know really getting it, getting after it and um you know we we kept playing belly we, we kept playing hard and and that's the name of the game you just got to keep competing and uh and we'll find it again but um you know right now we're a little out of sorts and uh we just got to weather the storm. You, you mentioned their 78 points. You guys hadn't really had like a bad, bad defensive performance all season. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of it was their personnel, but what was the defensive problem from, from you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, number one, give them credit. I mean, Giannis was amazing. And, um, you know, we were sending a lot of help, and he was finding shooters. And, you know, Portis got hot. Uh, several guys made threes. Um, you know, Allen and... Uh, Connaughton came in, made threes. Uh, Middleton made, got hot in that second quarter, so or late first. So they they played a great game. So um, we weren't well connected, and we weren't rotating um, really well. But as I said, they've you know they really executed and, and spread us out. Um, I, I think our defense overall has obviously been really good. We're number one in the league in defensive rating. Uh, so I'm not concerned. Uh, about um, our ability to bounce back and, and defend at a higher level. What side offensively in the first half, what do you think was the, the main trouble? Well, um, I think we, we've we we've lost a little confidence as a group. You know, that you could see we had a lot of open shots that weren't going and we were kind of hanging our heads and then they're making everything. It was just one of those nights. And, and when you play 82, um, one of once in a while this stuff happens so um I've, I, I've seen it every year that i've been in the league um and it's part of being a competitor is once in a while you get your ass kicked and it's humiliating it's no fun and, and it's all about how you respond and uh, as i said i think the way we responded in the second half was indicative of who our team is who we are and um and we got another game tomorrow night so we'll bounce back Besides the uh, play, do you have any rest plans tomorrow? Uh, well, Gary, you know, Gary yeah. won't play. Obviously, he, you know, he, he uh, had the injury tonight. Um, other than that, no plans to rest anybody. Are you confident that Greg Mullen will be able to return, like, early in the home stand, even if he doesn't join on the trip? I mean, I don't know. What's your just feeling on it? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't talked to Rip the last couple of days. Uh, I just know that they've been reading having and and uh, I haven't checked in since yesterday he told me yesterday that uh, Draymond was doing well so um, you know next time I I check in with Rick probably tomorrow and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll see how that's going and and hopefully get Draymond back soon do you have any more information about Gary is there any concern uh, it's always a concern uh, when somebody gets hurt uh, back tightness was all I heard so we'll we'll uh, we'll see how that goes Hey, Monty, can you hear me or? Yep. Go ahead. Steve, um, you know, this is the kind of game where a lot of times the coach will say, just throw away the tape. We won't even watch it. But I'm watching this game and I'm wondering, is there anything that guy, young guys like James and, and Jonathan can learn from watching the way Giannis plays and what he does? Yeah, I mean, when, you know, you look at uh, where Giannis is now and you think about him as a rookie. Um, how you got to think about JK. 
you know, um, total inexperience, um, you know, not much uh, knowledge of the NBA, not much uh, understanding of, of um, what's going on yet. Uh, but that's exactly where Giannis was a decade ago, or whatever it was, uh, when he first came into the league. Um, I thought J.K. was fantastic tonight uh, when he got his minutes in the fourth quarter. He really sprinted the floor hard, uh, which we've been asking him to do, used his his athleticism. And um, I don't know that there's a, a more athletic, you know, more physically imposing player in the league than Giannis, and he's, he's learned how to use that... Uh, that athleticism and that size uh, to uh, to really take over games. So there's uh, there's plenty for uh, for our young guys to to pick up. You know, watching him play. So Steve Kerr mentioned that besides.